Dear friends, I am Sharia and I am Netra. And today we are going to learn something new. So Sharia, what we are going to learn today? Netra, we are going to learn about bones. What? No! I thought we are going to have fun while learning. And this definitely doesn't sound fun. Let me show you something. Shorya, I am really interested in cricket by seeing this video. Shorya, are we not learning about skeletal system and so, playing cricket? So Netra, before we learn about cricket, you need to share your observations. I would appreciate the delivery done by you. But personally I think I would have straightened my arm for a better delivery. What do you think Shorya? So do you know all the movements? In our body, are due to the skeletal system and the limbs. I know that, Shorya. So did you know that our brain tells our muscles to move, not our bones, due to which we can cause these movements? Wow, Shorya. Could you tell me such interesting facts? But I am getting late. Let me tell my friends to tell you the facts. Okay. There are two types of bones in our body. The first one is the cortical bone which is the structural bone. It is hard and dense. The second type of bone is soft and spongy and is known as trabecular bones. Babies have approximately 300 bones whereas a full grown adult has 206 bones. You have 206 bones in your body and 106 of them are in your hands and feet. The hyoid bone is responsible for holding your tongue in place. It is the only bone in the human body that is not connected to any other bone. A cervical rib is an extra rib that is estimated to occur in only 0.5% of the population. Bones are strong, but teeth are stronger. Around 3000 years ago, ancient Egyptians made the world's first functional prosthetic bone. The smallest bone in our body is present in our ears. The femur is the longest and the strongest bone in the human body. It is present in the thighs. Bone cells are called osteocytes, whereas cartilage cells are called chondrocytes. <laughs>